Hey everybody, Marcia from Be So Creative here today and I have a really fun, super easy, no sew project for our Wednesday workshop for today. So um, what we're going to be working on is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make these super easy, cute little pinwheels. Now I went ahead and I put mine into a uh, wreath. I think this would also be cute. Um, you can make uh, pot stickers, but I'm not talking about the kinds you can eat from an Asian restaurant. Uh, these would be really cute for uh, weddings, for uh, barbecues that you all are having. You can use whatever fabric you would like to uh, create these cute pinwheels. So um, let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you all the little goodies that I used to work with these projects with these projects. You know, guys know what I mean for my little pinwheels. Okay, so here's the thing. You can use pre-cut charm packs, all right? And the nice thing about a charm pack is the fact that uh, they all coordinate, and I love that. Or, as on our instruction sheet that you are able to get, from be so creative uh, com, uh, hyphen New Mexico com. Sorry, guys. Um, you can also use fat quarters. So what you're going to do is you want to find fabrics that are going to coordinate, but also have a good contrast. So uh, here's the two that I've picked. So this is this is one of them. Okay, super cute. Those are going to work well together. And then here is another uh, one from our uh, fabric line and I'm going to use the same stripe on both of these. The other thing that you will need is you will need heat and bond light. Now I like heat and bond because it's easy to work with and you are not you're not um, fighting with it. You don't have to use steam. You just need to have an iron that is not turned up all the way to high Heat and Bond wants to have the heat setting on your iron at about a four. So uh, just remember, Heat and Bond wants a lighter iron temperature, okay? So that's the other thing that's important. You wanna make sure that you have your little uh, marking pen, a couple of buttons, a skewer, and you will see why here in just a second. Uh, either a rotary cutter, um, and I'm talking about a baby one because you'll see why here in a second, uh, your rotary ruler, and of course, yes, our hot glue gun. So the thing is that this is pretty much all you need to make your little uh, pinwheels. So what I'm going to start off doing is this. Let me move these kind of back so you all can see them. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to flip your charm square wrong side up. Now you want to be able to see the wrong side of the fabric. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little 5 inch square of heat and bond light and we're just going to iron him in place super easy and let's do the other one so just line those up pretty simple and here we go again now you want to make sure that when you're done ironing these that you let you let them cool because what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to put we're going to pull that paper off so remember that on heat and bond you have one side that's rough roughy roughy and it and it's glue that's where the glue is that's the side that you're going to put to the wrong side of your square and you want the paper side to be 
right side up so that when you're, you know, when you pick it up, you're feeling the paper. If you put the glue side up, then you are going to really screw up your iron and you're not going to be happy with me. So uh, just make sure the rough gluey side down onto the wrong side of your charm square. Now to get this off, and I'm going to see if Marco can get in here really close, and uh, Marco's giving us an assist again today, and Sharon's running the computer, so thanks guys. To get this off, you're just going to kind of like pinch right along that edge, okay? And when you do that, do you see how it's kind of lifted up right there? See, it just lifted up, and then you're just going to peel that paper away. And now we have like this, see how shiny that is? That's the other side of the glue. So let me do it again. So pinch right alongside that edge. It lifts up the paper. And you just peel it away. Okay, there we go. So now we got two shiny sides as you can see. Look at how shiny that is. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other charm square that contrasts nicely with my fabric that's on the front here. And we're going to iron this down. Now I like to, when I do this, I count, I put it down and I count to five. Five, move it, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five and you just want to make sure that you stay on there long enough that the glue is going to glue that top piece of fabric to its friend on the bottom. Okay, so the, see, that's not hard, right? Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is um, if you've got some stragglers, you can cut this away. Sorry, Marco, I moved away from the camera. So I've got a few little th threads here. If you are using a fat quarter instead of a charm, that's a pre-cut charm, what you're actually able to do is you can Cut a five inch, or a, I would say a five and a half inch strip of your heat and bond, iron it to the wrong side of your fat quarter strip. So I would cut a, I'd cut a five and a half or six inch strip off of my fat quarter. I would cut a six inch strip off of my uh, heat and bond. I would lay that on there, set that, cut another six inch strip of your fabric. Iron that on that, and then once you've got that, then you would subcut that. And that way it kind of like glues it all down. But the thing is, the reason that I'm doing it this way is because I want you all to be able to um, use your uh, charms. Because we all buy charms and we all go, oh, what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm giving you some options. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is this. I'm going to make both of these be the inside of my project. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rotary ruler and we are going to draw two diagonal lines. Okay. Boy, it's hard to see. You know what? We're going to do it on this side, guys, because I want you to be able to see those lines. Okay. So here we go. All right, so I'm using a friction pin, so we're going to draw two diagonal lines. And we're going to turn it the other way. And let's see, I'm going to see if Marco can, I'm, Marco, I'm going, to, I'm going to draw this and then I'll hold it up so you guys can see exactly what we're doing. Okay, so when you look at that, you can see that I've drawn a diagonal line in both directions. Okay, so since you already see that, I'm going to do it on this one because I want, I want this guy to be the inside of my pinwheel. 
I love the striped fabric, but when you're going and drawing lines, it makes it a little bit of a trick to get this to where people can, you can see what you're doing. Okay, ta -ta -da, there we go. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is this. All right, Marco, let's see if we can get you in here pretty close so that we can make sure people can see this. All right, so what I'm doing is at this juncture here where we've got our center point, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line my half inch mark up on that line and I'm going to mark it like so, okay? Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to mark it a half an inch in the other direction. Okay, so here's that mark and here's that mark. And Marco, I'm going to lay that. Maybe they will be able to see that a little bit better while I mark this one. Now, there is a reason that I have you do that and I'm going to show you that here in just a sec. But you need to see where those marks are. And he's a, he's a little bit of a trick because he's right on that stripe. There we go. Okay. All right, now see he's, see, he's hard, so you can at least see him here, but there is a mark here, and there is a mark here. And this is a half an inch from that center point on your charm square. Now, what we're going to do is this, and you, I'm going to let you choose however you do it. You can take your scissors, and you're going to cut right on that line. Marco, can you see that pretty good? Yes. All right, and we're going to cut right up to that mark I just made going across my diagonal lines. And I'm cutting right on my diagonal lines and I am stopping right there at that line that we just did. All right, let me do this one real quick. You can also take your rotary cutter. So um, if you're going to do this, though, I would really recommend that you use the baby, the little baby rotary cutter, because then you can see right where you're going to, okay? I have to tell you all, I rarely, if ever, pick up a pair of scissors. I love my rotary cutter and we are good friends for the most part but I will tell you on occasion we do get in a little bit of a battle okay so if if your line is not all the way up there then you can take your scissors and cut it okay so now I'm going to move my pad here oh let's see uh, I don't know if they're gonna be able to see this hmm Marco, you need to let me know. Okay, I am, I'm done with my uh, iron, so we're going to set him off to the side. And I think my darling Sharon is getting me a mat. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I didn't even think about this. I'm going to turn it over so that we're able to... Okay, so here we go. Marco, is that, is that better? People can see? Excellent. Okay, so now I've had my hot glue gun raring to go. I am going to again point out to you guys, let's see, here's your center point. So Marco's closing in close. Here are my marks that are half an inch away from my center. And so now what I'm going to do is, and, I, and keep this close because if you're using a hot glue gun, um, you're going to use this as your, as your uh, smasher. So you're just going to take a little bit of a little dot of glue and I take him and I line him up with that line that I have drawn there and then I take my skewer and I push my fabric down. Okay. Ta-da! Then we're going to turn. We're going to lift up this one. Ooh. 
little dab of glue. There he is, right there. Take your skewer, push that down. There we go. Twirl it again. I know you all are impressed that I know how to use a hot glue gun. The other thing that I want you to notice is, do you see those little strings that are coming off the glue? Because you know, hot glue just does that. The, re the other reason I like to use the skewer is because it gets stuck on that and then all I have to do is just peel it off and throw it away. And last but not least, here's our last one. And he's going into the middle. Okay, there he is. I'm going to do this one real quick because if I'm in the, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the mode here, guys. So glue, bring it to the center. Give it a press with your skewer. Rotate. Now I want to tell you all, um, the reason that I like twer turning this is that then I know exactly which one I'm going to be reaching for next. Because if all of a sudden you think you're reaching for this one, then look what you would get. You would get this other thing. Which, if that's what you want to do, that'd be super cute. But I'm making a pinwheel, so I want to make sure that I'm grabbing the right part, or the right little blade. Okay, one more. Lift him up. Right there. Give him a press. Marco, are you able to see that okay? Okay, so there we go. So there are the two little pinwheels. But I don't know about you, but truthfully, I don't want to see blobs of glue, right? I don't want to see blobs of glue. So now what I'm going to do is I've got my buttons, and these are 5 8 inch buttons. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put a blob of glue in the center of this and I'm going to take my button and I'm going to push him down on there. Now the thing that I think is kind of fun about this, and Marco I'm going to hold this up hopefully you can get a look at the glue oozes up through the holes and that is what's going to hold your button in place along with the fact that it is glued to your fabric. So let me do one more. So a blob in the middle, hot glue, there he is. Button goes in the center. He gets pushed down. And there are our cute little pinwheels. Now if uh, you can make as many of these as you want, they can come up to different um, sizes. Uh, if you wanted to do little tiny baby pinwheels to maybe stick on a quilt or something, you could actually do a small three inch square. Boy, it's gonna be tight, but you can do it. Or if you wanna make bigger ones for say, a um, to add to like a bunting or something like that, you could, you could cut, you could use 10 inch layer cakes, which would be great, super fun, easy to use. And just remember that you want to draw your lines diagonally and then you want to make sure that you leave, you don't cut all the way to the center, but you leave about a half an inch, maybe on the large ones, five eighths. And then that way you're going to bring those points to that as well. So, and um, like I said, on this guy here, on the one here that we just did, uh, this I think really would be super cute uh, for an outdoor wedding and all you have to do is you would make these and then a blob blob of hot glue and your skewer going right there onto the back and holding it in place and well I'll just do it because you know I have it here and I've got my glue so there's my blob of hot glue 
And I'm going to just take that and I'm going to put that in there and he's going to sit on the front until it dries and then I will have a, I can't let it go because it'll, it need, it's got to dry first guys. Um, so anyway, I don't know, I just think that these are super cute. Um, I actually have one of the uh, wreath on my front door. Uh, I think this is super easy, great way to use up your charm squares or your layer cakes or some of your fat quarters that you go, gee, I like this, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Well, cut it into it and make pinwheels. So guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have um, a fun with this project. If you do make this project, would you please go to our Facebook page at Be So Creative and post your pinwheels and how you used them, whether it was making a wreath, uh, making some of these cute little um, uh, pinwheel pot stickers and let us know we'd love to see it so I hope you all have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for joining us here this morning